Have you needed to hold a camera or a flash or something in a spot that might have been unconventional? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about clamps. All the clamps. Hey, this is Scott Weidenkamp with a storyteller with a camera talking about all the things photographers like you and I are thinking about. In this video, we're going to talk about clamps and mounts and all the things to hold your devices, your flashes and cameras and whatnot to basically whatever. This is pretty much the most common clamp in the photography business. This is an alligator clamp, uh, kind of it looks like an alligator mouth and you can turn the knob and it'll tighten and you can have it go around a pipe like so, or you can put in the this piece and have it go on something flat and you can put in a light stand pin and you can have it hold a light or you can have it hold a little strobe or you can have it hold a camera or pretty much whatever you want. These are very strong. In fact, I use these to hold up backdrops. I use these to hold up lights. Um, pretty much everything. Now this one is from Manfrotto and I've had this one for years. I have a bunch of these and you know, back in the day, really these were the only ones to get. These were the only ones that were made well. But now I use this one. As you can see, they look pretty much the same. Uh, the materials are different. The plastics are different. Like these knobs are actually plastic, but the rest is metal and they're very well made. This one is actually from Lumo Pro. It is probably an eighth of the price of the Manfrotto one. They are very affordable. You can get them from LumaPro directly. You can get them from MPEX, MPEX.com, and many other places. I am a big fan of LumaPro. In fact, I use one of their, uh, two of their small strobes. I even use their C-stands. Their C-stands are holding up the backdrop you see behind me. The C-stand is holding up a light that's right off here to the side. And then of course I've got all, all their clamps and a bunch of other things. These are fantastic. The super clamps, that's what they're actually called, super clamps. So I highly recommend uh, checking these out if you need to something that's very diverse that can really attach to pretty much whatever you want. But let's say you have a flat surface and you want just something with a tripod screw that you can put into the bottom of your camera or into the uh, small flash, you know, sort of foot plate. That's where this comes in handy. I don't even know. It's made by Delkin. I have two products apparently today made by Delkin. So this one uh, is just a little clamp that goes on a table. It really is meant to go on something flat. This is not great for something that is round or curved in any way. But you basically clamp it like it's a vice clamp and then you can take this and you can move this around in different ways and you've got a, uh, a tripod screw that can go on the bottom of your camera directly or it can go on anything else. This is fantastic. I use it a lot. Next up from Delkin is something I've only used once. I've only had the need to use it once, but I see people looking for this type of product all the time, especially in the YouTube community. This is the Fat Gecko. And these come in a variety of different styles, but basically it's a suction cup mount that you would put onto glass or something that is good for suction cups. And then again, you've got a tripod screw right here and you can adjust it as so. You can also adjust how this is and tighten it down. So this is great if you're doing a video in a car or a tight, split, a tight space, you need to get this on a, on a window, on a mirror, whatever. These are fantastic. Uh, again, I've only had the need to use it once, which is why I purchased it, but you know, they come in a variety of styles. And these are also good for if you need to do a GoPro on the outside of a car, you can suction this to your hood of your car and hook up your GoPro and now you've got a camera on the hood of your car. They Again, they come in different styles. So there's one that has three suction cups if you need that extra security and whatnot. But these are pretty heavy duty suction cups. This one's actually kind of dirty. I need to clean it next up before I use it the next time. Next up is your standard sort of umbrella holder. And these are fantastic because they go on top of a light stand like so. And then you can put in a big light on top of this or a small strobe depending. You can loosen it and then you can pivot this however you need. And then you can put the umbrella right in here and tighten that down and you're good to go. It is something that I've used pretty much in every port portrait session I've ever done. I have at least one of these in action. Last but not least is something that I actually love and this has changed a lot over the years. This is from Last Delight, but basically it holds three strobes at once, three small strobes, like the on-camera flashes, but you can do them off-camera. 
So for example, I can take my Nikon SB800s, and which I have three of, and I can put them all in this one thing. I can then take a, a, po a custom made pocket wizard cable and hook it up and basically with one pocket wizard fire three lights and I can put an umbrella through this. I've done a video on this, I believe. Check out that video if you want to know more about this. So there you have it. Clamps, 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 all the things to hold whatever. One more to show you. So this is a reflector and this is actually a reflector from Last of Light, but that's not what I want to show you. This is a video about clamps and holders and stuff. You see this? This is actually a boom arm that doubles as a boom arm for lights and also a sort of clamp for a reflector. So as you can see from behind me right now, the reflector is actually on a light stand and then there's this boom arm and the boom arm actually has clamps that are holding the reflector in place. This is great for a few reasons. One, if you are by yourself and need a reflector, you can adjust it and have it tilt and go up and down and be wherever you need it without needing a second person there. And the other great thing is I can have it for my videos and again, not need somebody there to add a reflector. I can just do it myself. So a lot of companies make the reflector boom arms. The one I have is from Photoflex. I've had it forever. Uh, these things last very, a very long time. Even with the plastic that they're made of, they still last a very long time. But a lot of companies make it now and the arms actually extend. So if you have a bigger reflector, the arm, the boom actually will extend and your clamp can in turn extend with it. And so you can hold a really big reflector or a really small reflector. It's very, very adjustable. And what is really cool is because the top of it is actually a light stand sort of male part that I can actually attach a light to the top of it and sort of add additional light without having an additional stand. So it's very multi-purpose. There you have it, an entire video all about just holding things in place. If you, oh yeah. I have another video about how to work with drop ceilings and lights. Check out that video because that's another way to hold lights, to hold stuff. Let's try this again. There you have it. There's a video entirely about how to hold things in place. Just Google clamps. Go to Lumo Pro. That's where I highly recommend getting all of your sort of standard clamp needs. Delkin makes fantastic products for those weird sort of holders like you saw in the video. If you have any questions, comment below. I publish new videos every Monday and Thursday, so click the subscribe button below now. You don't wanna miss it.